Hi everyone, welcome back again with a session with me, SBSS for Beginners um, with Dr. J. So today we are going to do um, another topic, okay, uh, on reliability analysis and we are going to analyze the reliability of our factors uh, using Chromebox Alpha. So, um, everyone, uh, we are still using this book, SPSS Handbook for Beginners, and let's straight away go to page 57. So, for this exercise, we are going to use the same um, SPSS data file with um, our practice activity of conducting EFA. So, we are going to use technology use data file. Okay, so before that, I will explain a little bit on what reliability analysis is. So when you have uh, such research questions, okay, so um, you are now questioning whether or not your items uh, do uh, form a reliable scale. Um, you are also questioning and also you want to prove that all of the items in your questionnaire uh, do present um, a similar factor. They do uh, measure the same factors. So I'll just go back a bit on our slide, showing you again um, the questionnaire items that we have tested using EFA. So now what we are going to do is to um, run reliability analysis and to see whether or not all of the items that represent uh, a particular factor um, has um, good alpha value. Okay, so now um, as you can see for expert, effort expectancy, uh, TU9 was removed and for the purpose of this um, exercise, we will be running TU9 for the Chromebook Alpha, and we will also be removing it to show you what Chromebook Alpha uh, can tell us. Okay, so moving along. Okay, so we want to test the reliability, internal consistency for a set of scale of items. And uh, if you remember in our previous videos, whereby we transform um, negatively worded uh, questions. It is because when um, items loaded um, negatively, uh, you must reverse code it first before you run reliability analysis. It is because any negative and positive correlations will cancel each other out. So therefore, all must be positive in order for you to run Chromebox Alpha. Okay, so um, what are the values that are acceptable for Chroma Alpha or for your reliability uh, analysis? Uh, many methodologists recommend 0.65 to 0 0.8 uh, or the higher the, be the better. Okay, uh, so as a conclusion, what we can conclude is usually we accept 0.7 at a minimum and preferably more than 0.8. Okay. However, uh, those items that only have only three items, 0.65 is considered adequate. Okay. Um, so there's no um, cutoffs on alpha, but for example, um, if you have, yeah, for example, of um, a factor, okay, that has less than 0.7, it still can be acceptable. However, you need to put a very strong justification on this. Okay, some other um, reasons, maybe you are using a pre-existing skills. Okay, so um, please read up more on um, when to delete, when to accept the skills for the justification of your own research, right? So uh, to summarize, uh, we would like to get at least 0.7 and above, okay, but uh, if you have only three items, then 0.65 is acceptable. All right, so then let's move on 
uh, with our book to the second uh, to the next page, page 58. So let's run the analysis. Okay, so we are using technology use. So this will be our steps in the book. Okay, so first we will go to analyze and then we go to scale and choose reliability analysis. We will start with um, the first one, which is performance expectancy. Performance expectancy is TU1 until TU3. So please be reminded that um, you need to conduct your reliability analysis one factor at a time because um, the, uh, the more, yeah, uh, the larger the items, uh, the alpha value will be larger, but it will be misleading. Okay, so, so we want to um, analyze uh, each factor separately. So let's just put here performance. So in statistics, okay, please tick skill if item deleted and i will show you why later on and then now we we'll just click okay so now what we can see here is there is one missing item okay so we need to go back to our data and find that missing item so for the purpose of this uh, activity i'll just leave it um, as it is for now okay so we have three items and our Cronbach alpha is 0.9 so this is very good, right? This is very good. Uh, if we only have 0.65, it is still can be acceptable because we only have items. Okay, but what I want to show you is is the scale if item deleted. Okay, so Cromwell Alpha if item deleted, we can see here we are looking at this value here. All right, if and this is our current alpha value, right? But here are some suggestions on how we can maybe improve okay, our alpha value if the following items were removed. So usually we will look at this suggestion if our alpha value does not achieve uh, at least acceptable um, number that is 0.7 or 0.65 for three items. Okay. Um, however, um, to delete certain items, you also need to justify it uh, theoretically, okay? Not just simply using statistics uh, as your justification, right? Um, so, uh, and also, if the alpha value has already achieved the acceptable amount, that is 0.7, you don't necessarily have to delete any more items, okay? So only use this as a guide when your uh, alpha value is really low, right? Maybe less than 0.7 or less than 0.65 if only three items. So let me show you another one. Okay, analyze, skill, reliability analysis, and just click reset. So we are going to do um, the second one, which is effort expectancy. So TU5 until, let's just double check again. TU4, sorry, until TU9, all right? And then nice, okay, scale, right? So TU4 until TU9. So this is and again go to statistics and take skill if item deleted, click continue and okay. So what I want I want to show you here is um, we already know from um, conducting EFA that TU9 is a problematic item. So we have already removed it due to two reasons. It does not load to any factor and secondly the factor loading was low so let's look at our uh, um, chroma alpha value so now uh, our chroma alpha value is 0.7 which is acceptable 
However, let's look at the suggestion. If we delete any of these items, okay, um, you will have a new alpha value. For example, if you remove TU4, your new alpha value will be 0 0.19, 0 0.619. So if you look at the list here, suddenly when you remove TU9, the value will jump from 0.7 to 0.86, which is a better value for the alpha. So you can consider deleting this because you already have another justification, which is EFA has also already removed this item based on the uh, previous reasons mentioned. So, and the alpha value indicates a significant increase, okay? It's not just like 0 0.001 increase. So when this happens, you may, as a researcher, um, decide to remove TU9. So let's just uh, run this analysis again without TU9. Okay, and, and so your Cromba Alpha is now um, improved dramatically. Okay, so this is how you conduct um, reliability analysis. You can do uh, yourself for the final uh, factor uh, that is facilitating condition using TU10 to TU14. So all the best and see you in the next video.